Stefani, can you talk about the different types of boundaries, like emotional, physical, and energetic boundaries? I think I do pretty good with setting physical boundaries, but struggle more with my energetic, not sure why. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> on our, you know, physical boundaries, those are pretty clear. You know, it's like, you know, but like, don't be hitting me in the head. Don't be kicking the back of my seat when I'm at the movie. You know what I mean? Like, stop. Okay. So those are, those are like those physical boundaries. Now on an emotional level, we can be letting things come into our bodies. We can be letting in other people's emotions coming in. We can be whipped around on that, that level of, of, you know, like that's more the unseen, you know what I mean? So people can be pushing on you and you can feel them pushing on you. Like I, I can feel like when, you know, someone leans out of their body, it gets really uncomfortable. Okay. So those are the unseen kinds of boundaries. And it's really, you know, it's really about who we are within, who we are within our own selves, not just physically, but on that emotional level and spiritual level as well. Um, you know, we might be able to set boundaries because we've learned how to do that. It doesn't mean we feel strong in it, but we're able to say, no, stop, don't want that. Okay, but oftentimes if we don't have true authentic sense of the, uh, the ability to have boundaries, we're going to have that more in a harder, harsher way. Meaning like if I like if I had to force the issue and, and stand up for myself, yet I don't feel totally confident inside, you know, I can I can say the words, but something inside of me doesn't feel strong and secure. Okay, so. Oftentimes when we have that, then we're allowing other energies and people to come into our energy field, pushing on us and, and then not having the ability to truly just say, no, hey, back out. I've actually literally had to tell people, you're leaning out of your body. You're, you're pushing right on my body. I need you to lean back into yourself. They don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. But <laughs> at least you know, saying it, they it kind of whipped, kind of snapped them back even though they didn't understand because most people don't understand energy. They don't understand when you're looking at somebody and you're leaning out into them that they're going to feel that. Okay. It's going to feel uncomfortable. So, you know, the whole boundary thing is, you know, we want healthy boundaries. We want healthy boundaries on the spiritual level. Absolutely. That allows us to be able to decipher, decide to know, you know, like if someone's, you know, people's, um, claim to be somebody that they aren't, you know, you can feel it. Oh, that, oh, that one's claiming to be some kind of guru. Not happening. Okay, so you can feel it. So we make decisions, you know, we don't have to open ourselves up to things that don't feel true or don't feel authentic, don't feel real, don't feel safe. Okay, so sometimes we can have strong boundaries in our physical world, but we don't have boundaries, you know, on the etheric realms and the spiritual realms. And this is partly why you have all these friggin' discarnates inside of you because you got no boundaries. It's like, I don't want this body. Come on in. <laughs> and they do. Okay. So, you know, you need boundaries. And, and also, when you do get that, when you start claiming sovereignty and owning your own physical body, that you really can go into surgery and being conscious and still know your body is going to be claimed by you. When you don't have boundaries, then you go into surgery, you go unconscious. You wake up, whoa, where'd that, the, oh, I don't even know who I am. Something happened. So, you know, it's like the boundary thing. It's, it's really about the stability of yourself. It's about really claiming and owning your own, your physical body, but also claiming all aspects of who you are. And that includes all of you, you know, the light body, Merkaba body, astral body, etheric body, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual body, all aspects of you that you are truly claiming and owning, but also uh, that there is that feeling deep inside that it's my body. You don't, you don't get it. You don't get to belong here. You don't own it. You don't enter it. It is mine. Okay. And it's not an anger. It's not a, uh, you know, any, any big energy. It's a knowing. It's that direct feeling within that this, yeah, I'm own it. This is my body. That's it. And Absolutely. when you have that, you're, you're going to have boundaries on all levels of your soul's existence. Anything else, girls, you want to add, either of you? 
Yeah, I wanted to add something really quickly about the different types of boundaries and why have boundaries, because I think Vanessa was asking, you know, is having a healthy boundary at an intuition or a flight mode activated? I just want to address this really quickly. Yeah. We have yeah. boundaries and boundaries are basically a set of rules on how we want to be treated. And oftentimes when you have when you have a boundary set in place and it's healthy because there are people who, who violate their own boundaries. And I'm going to give you an example. So a healthy boundaries is when you have, you value yourself, right? Boundaries helps us understand the, our, who we are and instead of concept of, you know, our self image and how we view ourselves. So when we don't have healthy boundaries, we are basically allowing other people to kind of come in, into our, into our space because we don't know who or what we are, right? Which is why we leave our body and we're more susceptible to that. So boundaries come more as just how you want to be treated. And if you don't see the self-worth, if you don't value your own opinion or you don't know what, you know, who or what you are, you're most likely to have no boundaries. And then mm -hmm. you have what Bonnie, you brought up with the rigidity, <clears throat> right? You have these people that put the boundaries really tightly, right? If you have a rigid boundary, then you tend not to trust people. You probably don't have a lot of close friends. Your energy probably whacks people because you're carrying a belief that says, hey, you know, I've been hurt. I don't trust people and you need to stay away. So that energy gets sort of kind of, you know, we feel it, right? You've, you've walked into a room when, and you just know that you just don't want to approach that person. Like you're unapproachable. Right. So there's something in your way of being and the way you're showing up that says that. And then the last one is when people have a porous boundary. These are people that overshare. Right. They tell their personal life. Everything is all over the, the place and they tend to tolerate more like abuse from people. And, you know, so it goes into that. But all of this has to do with trauma at the end of the day. Right. And really unraveling what that means. So.